Okay, gonna do a follow-up on the garden. It's May 7th and because we did no-till gardening, uh, have Al here, he's the master gardener here, give you a, uh, a tour of what's growing here on May 7th. We just got done picking some greens. All right, Al, what do you got? Okay, well, first of all, we got a few parsnips that are still growing up here on the top. To be, that's uh, the last of our spring crops. But now we have, and we went through on all the garden, it's all piled up, and we've taken in between the rows so that, and piled that up so we're into the dirt so we can rototill in between the rows. And as you can see here, we have some arugula that's growing. Now this is uh, from the seed from last year. We've got some spinach growing over here. So these will be, we'll partially till these, like this part of the row, it doesn't have hardly anything growing in it. So we will, we'll plant this. We'll leave the stuff that's growing right now and actually harvest our crops. And, um, and I noticed you got some lettuce over here growing. Yeah, there's some lettuce. There's some lettuce right here that's all coming up. And so anything that happens to grow is a bonus because, and normally if we had a cold spring, we would be actually eating a little more lettuce than we are right now. Um, but it's all prepped. And so all we'll do with this garden at this particular juncture is take the rototiller out and we'll go up the row and back and then just let it dry out real well and then we plant the crop and that's it. And from there on the tiller is put away and uh, the, the, you can see as I'm walking through here, you can see that how high the manure and, and wood chips are stacked up here. These will disintegrate by next, by this fall, there will be hardly anything left here. But what this does, it keeps the moisture in the ground, we'll never have to water this garden. And uh, it, it just creates biomass. When you start, if you were to take a shovel and dig here, you'd see nothing but worms. Uh, it's like a worm factory with the way we've, we're doing it right now. And uh, we'll walk you over, we'll show you some of the, the parsnips. We have the parsnips, there's about a half a row that, and, and as you can see right here, I've planted some early lettuce and rot. This right here happens to be arugula. Um, this looks like lettuce at the front, huh? Yeah, there's a little lettuce in the front. And, then and I just kind of planted it where the, where the uh, spinach was growing up and a little bit of lettuce. And so I figured, well, we'll let something grow in between that right How now. How long ago did you plant this? That was about four days ago. Okay. Yeah, and so it's up. I see the other lettuces aren't up yet, but uh, I've seen a couple little heads of them peeking out here and there, but you'll be able to really notice them in a couple of days. And, you know, we have some perennial plants. This is oregano right here. And uh, so that'll bush out real heavy. And then this is our last year's parsley, and it's a biannual, so it's, you know, it's, we're clipping a little bit of it right now because there's a lot of, there's a lot of it. Uh, so you will clip that off and then it'll go to seed uh, probably around July and that'll be the end of that. And so we'll have to plant another row uh, to get the fresh parsley growing after that. And uh, then we have gooseberries growing over here. We have some blackberries growing over there. And so right now at this point in time, we're just kind of waiting for the time. We'll do the whole plant somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, probably the last week of, of May, we'll do the, the entire garden will be planted. We planted beets here in, in July, and we wound up having just absolutely awesome uh, beets in September. So that was kind of nice. We, you know, it was have it was like having a nice fresh crop in the fall then too. That's so. where we're at right now, and um, in another another two and a half weeks, we'll be planting the whole garden. And uh, once it's planted, you know, we that's pretty well it. You know, then it's just a matter of, you know, picking a few weeds because uh, the mulch will keep most of the weeds off, and uh, you just have to pick basically in between your where you've actually planted. And uh, we'll update you on what we do uh, after it's planted and as it starts to grow.